So, hello and welcome to a day in 15 minutes UPSC prelims daily current affairs by new IS. Today is 8th February 2020 and the topics for discussion are pangolins, leopards, national means come merit scholarship scheme, Mudubalai tiger reserves, uniform code of pharmaceutical marketing practices. Now coming to the first topic of the day which is pangolins. Now this is a news because the Chinese scientists say that the endangered pangolin may be the link that facilitated the spread of the novel coronavirus across China. Now coming and talking about the pangolin, see pangolin are the only mammals wholly covered in scales and they use those scales to protect themselves from predators in the wild. Now if they are under threat, a pangolin will immediately curl into a tight ball and will use their sharp scaled tails and defend themselves. A pangolin's tongue is longer than its body and they have no, to, no teeth uh, to chew uh, and they chew it with the uh, gravel and keratinous spines which is uh, present inside their stomach. Now out of the 8 species of pangolins in the world, 2 of them are found in India. These are the Chinese pangolin and the Indian pangolin. Now coming and talking about the conservation status, the Indian pangolin is in the endangered category of the IUCN status and the Chinese pangolin has a critically endangered status. Now they are protected under the schedule 1 of the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. Now understand the pangolins are actually the most trafficked mammal in the world. Okay. Now they are certainly the most trafficked uh, mammal in Asia and this is also increasing in Africa as well and they are very high in demand in countries like China and Vietnam. Pangolins are smuggled for their scales at, as it is believed that they possess magic or charms and have medicinal properties associated with it. Now understand these species also uh, occur in Bangladesh, Pakistan, Nepal and Sri Lanka. Now coming to the next topic of the day which is about leopards. Now uh, this is in news basically because the leopard population has actually declined 75 to 90 percent in India as per the study conducted by the Center for Wildlife Studies and the Wildlife Institute of India. Now the findings are significant because leopards are otherwise among the most adaptable carnivores and are known to exist in very close proximity with human habitations. Now talking about the leopard, a leopard is actually a nocturnal animal and 9 subspecies of leopard have been recognized and they are distributed across Africa and Asia. Now the leopard is the smallest of the big cats and are known for its ability to adapt to a variety of habitats. Now in addition to that we will also talk about melanism. See melanism is actually a common occurrence in leopards wherein the entire skin of the animal is actually black in color which also includes the spots of the leopard that also becomes black. A melanistic leopard is often called as a black panther or a jaguar. Okay. Now coming and talking about the conservation status, see a leopard is listed in the schedule 1 of the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972 and is included in the appendix 1 of the sites. Uh, the species status is now listed under vulnerable category, category from the near threatened by the International Union of Conservation of Nature. Talking about the habitat, uh, habitat and the distribution of these animals, in India the leopard is found in all forest types from tropical rainforest to temperate deciduous and alpine coniferous forest. It is also found in dry scrubs and grasslands and is the, the only exception where it is not found is the deserts and the mangroves of Sundarbans. Now it range uh, stretches from the Indus river in the west, the Himalayas in the north and all the way to the lower coast of the Brahmaputra in the east. Now a leopard actually shares its territory with the tiger in 17 states in India. Now coming about uh, coming to the conservation issues regarding uh, the leopard, understand the biggest threat facing these common leopards in India are increasing conflict with humans, poaching for illegal trade for the body parts of the leopard and also loss of habitats. Now coming to the next topic which is a national means come merit scholarship scheme. Now, understand this is a news because uh, this national means come merit scholarship scheme has actually helped to reduce the dropout rate at the secondary and senior secondary classes. 
Now talking about this, it's a centrally sponsored scheme and was launched in May 2008 and the objective of the scheme is to award scholarships to meritorious students of economically weaker sections to arrest their dropout at class 8 and encourage them to continue the study at the secondary stage. Now under the scheme, 1 lakh fresh scholarships at 12,000 per annum per student are awarded to selected students of class 9 every year and their continuation or renewal in class 10 to 12 for study in a state government, government aided and local body schools. Now the selection of students for award of scholarships under the scheme is made through an examination conducted by the state's uni union territories of the government. Now the students whose uh, parental income from all sources is not more than 150,000 are eligible to avail the scholarships. Now the students studying in Kendra Vidyalayas and Jawahar Vavodaya Vidyalayas are not entitled to get scholarship under this scheme. The scheme is boarded on the national scholarship portal since 2015 to 2016. Now coming to the next topic of the day which is the Modumalai Tiger Reserve. Understand this is in news because the 48 day rejuvenation camp for captive elephants was inaugurated at the Tepakadu Elephant Camp in the Mudumalai Tiger Reserve. Now coming and talking about the Tiger Reserve, the Mudul Mudumalai National Park and Wildlife Sanctuary is also a declared Tiger Reserve and it lies on the northern, northwestern side of the Nilgiri Hills in the Nilgiri district in Tamil Nadu. Now it shares boundaries with the states of Karnataka and Kerala and it is a part of the Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve along with the Vayanad Wildlife Sanctuary in Kerala which is in the west, the Bandipur uh, National Park in Karnataka to the north and the Mukurthi National Park and Silent Valley in the south. Now the sanctuary is actually divided into five ranges and these are Masnagudi, Tepakad, Mudumalai, Kargudi and Nellakota. So these are the different five ranges in the Tiger Reserve. Now the protected area is home to several endangered and vulnerable species which includes Indian Elephant, Bengal Tiger, Malabar giant squirrel, the gore and the Indian leopard. There are at least 266 species of birds in the sanctuary and it also includes critically endangered Indian white trump vulture and the long billed vulture. Now coming to the other tiger reserves in Tamil Nadu, we have the Annamalai Tiger Reserve, the Kalakad Mundandurai Tiger Reserve and finally the Satya Mangalam Tiger Reserve. Now coming to the next topic of the day which is the Uniform Code on Pharmaceutical Marketing Practices. Now understand the Department of Pharmaceuticals under the Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers has requested the pharmaceutical companies to abide by the Voluntary Uniform Code of Pharmaceutical Marketing Practices. Now the Department of Pharmaceuticals has also requested to ensure that the pharma companies adhere to the provisions of uh, this code and do not promote pharma products unethically during the conferences conducted by the doctors. Coming and talking about this code which is the Uniform Code of Pharmaceutical Marketing Practices. Understand this is a voluntary code issued by the Department of Pharmaceuticals relating to the marketing practices of Indian pharmaceutical companies and as well as medical devices industries. According to clause 7.2 of this code, Companies or their associations or representatives shall not exceed any hospitality like hotel accommodation to healthcare practitioners and their family members under any pretext. This, this basically implies that you know that even uh, extending benefits to doctors through these associations is actually unethical. Now coming to a few of the key features, there are many key features here, I'll just say a few of them. Understand the first thing is that no gifts or any pecuniary advantages or benefits in any kind may be supplied, offered or promised to persons qualified to prescribe or supply drugs by a pharmaceutical company or any of its agents. Now the code states that in order to appoint medical practitioners as affiliates there should be a written contract legitimate need for the services must be documented and criteria for selecting affiliates must be directly related to the identified need and many other key features are also there. So you can look into that when you go to our current affairs website which is www.neoias.com. So that's all for today. Thank you and good night. Like.
share and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Follow our website neoiascap.com for the detailed content and monthly prelims digest. Also join our current affairs exclusive test series through the website. And finally, participate in the daily current affairs prelims infotainment queues at our telegram channel that is Neo IAS prelims at 9.30 pm every day. Thank you.